Welcome to Houston as we prepare you for baseball from Minute Maid Park. Should be a fun Father's Day matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Houston Astros. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. First pitch is next. Mike Fires, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. E.K., what's the word on him? Well, guys, take a look at that whip. Around 1-3, which is pretty much league average. So he's been very serviceable all year long. Gregory Polanco will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin playing. Grounded up the first baseline. Gonzalez is up with it. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. In the second spot tonight. Jung Ho Gong will stand in now. And as you can easily tell from the splits, he's really struggled away from home. Fires is ready. Here's the 1-1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Gomez. Two down. Andrew McCutcheon gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he comes up empty there on a pitch in the dirt and falls behind now 1-2. and two. Eric Karros, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And they've gotten that overall. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Now the Astros will get there for Number 50 gets the start for Pittsburgh in this one. What do you have for us on him, E.K.? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity. He'll go up and down. The break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. Now to the plate, George Springer as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Marwin Gonzalez will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Jose Altuve will stand in for the first time here. He's got that average up over 340 here entering play. Runners on the move for second. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Back goes Polanco. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The relay throw, and he is in there. Well, the only silver lining here is that the batter doesn't get any further than first base, but... Boy, that looked like a ball that should have been caught. I don't know what went wrong there. Carlos Correa will stand in. And as you take a look at the splits there, he's actually a better hitter against right-handed pitching this season. Now a swing and a fly ball. Polanco sprinting after it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Carlos Gomez will stand in, and as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right-handers. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A runner on first with two away. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Starling Marte will dig in for the first time now. He's got that average up nearing the 340 mark to begin play. Well, when you look at what this guy's done so far, Matty, he leads this ball club. In. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. First baseman. Stepping in, John Jaso. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Fires pauses. Here it comes. Here's a swing, and oh, man! 
way out of here. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and it gives the Pirates a two-to-one lead. This is a situation where you wonder how much of his concentration is on first base and how much of it is on home plate. Because if you're not 100% locked in on the guy at the plate, folks will make you pay at this level. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Jordy Mercer settles into the box for his first chance. Jordy Mercer. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. Gomez has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting eight. David Freeze into the box here in the top David of the second, looking Freeze. to keep this inning going. Here's the one and one pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1-2. and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Chopped weakly to the left. To his right, Correa. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the Pirates do get a couple here on this. Number 59 digs in here for his first appearance. Full count, here it comes. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. And another foul ball. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under this one is Polanco, and he's got it for the first out. Batting seven. Evan Gaddis stands in. Evan. Gattis. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing and a miss. Good two. pitch, and it's full now. Three and two. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there. And he almost came out of his shoes on that one. On the ground to third. Taken in by Gung. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting eight. Luis Valbuena will Luis dig in, and this Valbuena. season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's going to even up the count at 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Chris Stewart steps in here to start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Yeah, and you know, he's the number nine hitter, but you've got to go to the plate right now thinking like a leadoff guy. Just find a way to get on base, and then give those one, two, three guys a chance to drive you in or do something. Now batting. Gregory right Polanco. Here. We'll get a Gregory. second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. He makes the running play. Two down. Now Digging in to try it again. Jung Ho Gong. He flew out in his last at bat. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order, go. The Jake Marisnik will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Well, his batting average is ugly, and his last 10 games have been ugly. Just two hits in his last 10. Drilled to first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. George Springer will stand in for a second time. He drew a base on balls to lead off the home first. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. 
So stepping in, Marwin Gonzalez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Tap foul at home plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is pulled into right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Jose Altuve, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Down the first baseline. Jasso gloves it. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. When we return, it'll be Andrew McCutcheon to start. And here is Andrew McCutcheon now. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Fires into his motion. Full count pitch on its way. Now a ball crushed high in the air. Deep to left. Way back there. And that one is long gone. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. Number 11 for him on the season. And it's given the Pirates a 3-1 lead. Standing in now, Starling Marte. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Springer coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Now batting. The first Into base. the box now, John, John Jaso. And he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. To second for one. Onto the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. The batter, number five. At the plate, Josh Harrison. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the one and one delivery. Hit hard back up the middle. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Jordy Mercer is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Line drive to left. Marisnik is under it and he makes the catch for out number 3. Pirates get a run on the McCutcheon. Leading off the inning, Carlos Correa, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Correa is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. Center. So one got in the inning, and that Carlos brings up the Gomez. speedy Carlos Gomez. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Number 59 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. David Freeze heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Three and one. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Shot toward second. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. A pretty good swing there. Now batting. You watch. Catcher. Head stays Brandon. down. Ball Stewart. gets deep in the zone, and he lets those hands lead the way, and he drives it to right field. That's as good an approach as you're going to see. 2 1, here it is. Runner goes for second. Shows bunt as he gets this one down. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. Now batting. 
Gregory Polanco will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Here it comes on one and one. Lifted the other way to left center. Mariznik is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And they've got him hung up out there between second and third. Over now, they'll apply the tag between second and third. It's a careless double play, and the inning is prematurely over. Evan Gaddis will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. There to take it in is Jaso, and there's one away. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. Not quite sure what happens right here. This throw just absolutely takes off on him, and it goes right over his first baseman's head. He's going to get stuck with an E4 on that play. Into the box, Jake Marisnik Has to be thinking strikeout here. Just out in front of that one, still 2-2. Two and two. One run, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ballgame. George Springer, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Gung is there for it, and that ends the inning. One left for Houston, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Jung Ho Gong makes his way to the box to lead us off in the sixth inning. Drilled on the ground is short. Correa scoops it up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So one away in the inning now for the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to one ball game. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. His second of the game. And the Pirates move in front now, 4-1. to one. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game. And it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one. So he's definitely locked in. Starling Marte will stand in now following the home run. And you wonder if that losing streak is about to go by the wayside. Well, they're not home yet, but certainly this has been a much better performance than we've seen out of them for a while now. So all signs seem to be pointing to a potential victory. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Now batting the first baseman. John Jason. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Fire sets his sights. 0 2 pitch on its way. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. One in the inning for the Pirates on the home run, and as the Pittsburgh TV guys like. Marwin Gonzalez will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. Yeah, and I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding He's good out. pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and now that's for sure. Designated hitter, 
Jose Altuve will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. And we've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Marte going back. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left, number 10 for him on the year. And the Astros are back in business. It's now a 4-2 game. Two runs on two hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Now pitching for Pittsburgh. So a new pitcher to tell you about, and it's the Dominican-born right-hander Neftali Feliz who gets the call. Carlos Correa will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. McCutcheon going back, and this one's gone. And they're within one after back-to-back -back homers. So a solo shot here to left center field, number 10 for him on the year, as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. There to make the play is Polanco, and there are two away now. Number 59. Number 59 will step in. He's 0 for 2 to this point. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. They get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We're through six full. Bucks out in front, 4 to 3. Now pitching for the Astros. Fall to the bullpen now as Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Josh Harrison will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. A good job there of making a two-strike adjustment. Very compact there. He uses the middle of the field, and this just finds its way into center for a base hit. He's running towards second, and he pops up the bunt attempt. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Bunt sign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. And the throw will come to first, so the sacrifice works as planned. The batter, number seven. David Freeze will That's dig in. Hitter. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And he pops it up. Back behind second base. Correa ranging into the outfield. Two gone. Chris Stewart takes his turn now, looking Chris to add some insurance Stewart. to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. Yeah, a base hit right through the infield would probably do it, but One you ball. can bet those guys in the outfield are going to be coming up gunning if they get any chance at all. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Evan Gaddis. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Luis Balbuena. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Number 26. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Luis Balbuena will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Very weakly on the ground, but that one rolls foul. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one-two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. 
ball and two strikes. Here it is. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. You start it in the zone, and hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. Jake Marisnik will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Will this be a big out out of the bullpen? Under it is Mercer, two away now. George Springer will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Fly ball out toward left center field. McCutcheon is under it. And the inning is over. Astros leave one. Leading off the inning, Gregory Polanco as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. And this is popped up. Back behind second, Correa onto the grass, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. How about it? Jung Ho Gong stands Jung -ho into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And you check this out. This is on the inside part of the plate, but he still is able to take it to the opposite field. I'll tell you, that is back control at its finest right there. Rocket to third. Oh, he gets a glove on it, knocks it down, and the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder. Starling Marte, Starling. ready for another at-bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Pirates leave one. A.J. Shugel is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. A.J. Shugel. Marwin Gonzalez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. When you're 0 for 3 in a game already, I think you're really happy to see a new pitcher in this ballgame. Maybe something will change for him. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Hot shot to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting. Designated hitter. Jose Altuve gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Chopped out to short. Mercer is there. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number one, shortstop. Carlos Correa Carlos. stands in, Correa. coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Well, I think he proved that he can turn on a pretty good fastball and hit it out of the ballpark, so you need a different approach in this at-bat. Fly ball out toward right field. Oh, and he misses it. Running hard, he's digging for second. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Carlos Gomez will come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and the run is in to score from third. It's a 4-4 game. Number 59 will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Number 16 will come on now and pinch run here. 
Evan Gattis. Evan Gattis steps in for a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Mark Melanson comes on now, trying to keep this ball game tied. Evan Gattis will be the first one to greet him now as he'll do so with runners at the corners and two out in the inning. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Set to start the ninth now from Space City, Houston, Texas, as we continue our presentation of Major League Baseball on the show. Scott Feldman will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Now some action out in the Houston bullpen as it appears both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Feldman's ready. Here's the nothing and two. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, and the count holds at 0-2. Two. two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Stepping in now, Josh Harrison down the third baseline. And now from the air, a jump throw. And the throw will not be in time as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Jordy Mercer. Jordy Mercer will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Runners off for second. And they do have him squaring with two strikes as he gets this one down. Only play to first, so the sacrifice works that time. David Freeze will stand in. He flew out his last time up. David Freeze. High in the air out to center field. Gomez is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two and he's safe so coming to the plate Chris Stewart although there are a couple of bases open and we'll see if they think about working around him and that's exactly what I'd expect them to do no reason to give him the pitch that he likes hit pretty well out to deep left field Mariznick going back in to score the runner from third Tony Sipp will take over with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Polanco. Gregory Polanco steps in to try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. And that's a nice job right there to drive in the run by the last guy. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the end. Striding in to start the nine, Luis Valbuena, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Tony Watson is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Tony Watson. Leading off the inning, Luis Valbuena, and they'll need him to get something going here. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Jake Marisnik will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Jared Hughes will come on here hoping to get the final two outs and pick up the save. Jake Marisnik gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. George Springer makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. Throw to first will be in time for the final out. And the Pirates have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Well, that's certainly how you can save some wear and tear on your arm. He only needed three pitches to finish this one off, and he picks up the save. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. 
The offensive star of the night for the Bucks. well, it was this guy right here, John Jaso. Put that on a bubblegum card. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried him to the victory. Here now is our final line score. So